All right, so what does Dark Trace look like deployed in, in, in a complex environment, like a mixed IT, OT environment? What we've had uh, kind of displayed here is showing you the different aspects of that. So at your DMZ site, right, we're able to put some visibility there. You have communications between your OT and your IT environment. So we have some visibility there. We're feeding that into the platform. In addition to the specific OT sites uh, or equipment, we have technology. We're actually feeding that network traffic into uh, the dark trace platform as well, in addition to the IT side. And we bring that all together in what we call unified view. And what unified view allows us to do is it allows us to deploy appliances throughout your environment, whether it be IT, DMZ, OT, cloud, you name it. And we can actually monitor and, and, and listen and learn and analyze that traffic locally there. So your OT team, for example, can log in and locally see a dashboard and see just alerts and just activity on just the devices and the network traffic that that appliance is seeing locally. And then in addition, that appliance will feed its information to a master appliance or the unified view appliance, where then all of an organization or a SOC per se might be able to see everything. So it gives a lot of flexibility to our clients um, that have these mixed or very complex environments to be able to deploy in a wide range of options. Uh, and what we show across the top of the screen is we're feeding all this information into the platform. We're doing our statistical anomaly analysis. We're associating that with a breach, some sort of anomaly, some sort of activity, some sort of MITRE attack framework that we see as malicious or, or anomalous in nature. We're scoring that based off everything that we've learned about the environment, not just the device, but the environment as a whole. And then from that, we actually correlate that with any other model breaches. So there could be, uh, you know, somebody accessing a site they've never been to before. And then a few moments later, we see a compromise on that machine. And then from that machine, we see RDP activity and so on and so forth, lateral movement into the environment. We're actually going to stitch all of those alerts together and give you that as one additional incident, um, which is really, really fantastic. Jumping into just an OT specific or more of a Purdue model kind of a layout, uh, you can see the dark trace appliances are deployed at all additional levels uh, of the Purdue model. So we're able to actually see into the traffic and do the deep packet inspection. So uh, sub devices uh, like the slots in your PLC, for example, slot 100, slot 200, slot 300, things like this that are non IP based. Uh, uh, systems. They go to pumps or actuators or sensors or motors or you name it. Um, if we're, if we're uh, ingesting the traffic from the PLC and doing deep packet and inspection, which we do in a wide range of OT protocols, that is information that we're also going to passively ingest uh, and show on the platform. So from a deep level in an OT Purdue model, it's really great to get some of that granular activity and information from your assets. Uh, in the field, all the way up through your level three, 3.5, and then into your enterprise network if uh, need be, if you guys had the connectivity or if that was required as your site. Moving forward, Dan. All right, so jumping into one of these model breaches or an incident here that you can actually see on your screen, we break down that same flow as we did before, but we're actually going to put it to you visually so you can see. So what you see on your screen, I know it might be a little small, but you see four tabs across the screen. Those are four individual model breaches. And from those four individual model breaches, we've stitched together an incident. So these model breaches are associated and we have evidence and correlation between the different model breaches to show uh, how they are related. You can actually see the colored dots across the top of the screenshot. There's actually a time frame. So you see a, a couple actions, anomalies happened earlier in the morning. A few hours later, we see some additional actions. And then later on in the day, we actually see, you can see by the color coding as well, the severity of those actions. So we see some connected actions throughout the day, all originating from one anomalous uh, piece of activity. And an anomalous piece of activity actually is classified there as a suspicious file download. So we see a user downloading a file they've never downloaded before, going to a site they've never been to, and then we potentially see some additional connections into that machine from the internet. And then as you can see into step three, into step four, we have some administrative control of the machine. And then we actually have the machine communicating out to some PLCs in the field, trying to reprogram, uh, not just communicate to the PLC, but actually reprogram and replace the firmware um, on the PLC. And again, we can see to this granularity because we're doing deep packet inspection um, on these packets and are reading the protocol specific information inside the network traffic itself. Thank you.